Hello, gun aficionados and gun enthusiasts. Today we're going to be comparing three guns that they all have something in common, and that is that they are all aluminum frame revolvers. First up is a model 37, round butt, two inch barrel, blue finish. It's loaded with snap caps, those are zoom snap caps. They're made of aluminum. Perfectly safe. Got the Tyler T grip on there. This is the model 37. No dash. It's a really nice gun, it's in great shape. It's got a pin barrel, ramped, serrated front sight, round diamond grips, Tyler T grip, case hardened hammer and trigger. It's got a grooved trigger. No nice action. Very nice. Model 37. It's aluminum frame. I believe the frame is anodized aluminum. Steel cylinder, steel barrel. See there where it says air weight. 38 special. Not plus P rated. And this is a Colt. Those are also zoom snap caps. They're made of aluminum. Perfectly safe. This is a Colt Cobra 38 Special in nickel. This came with these uh, small grips on there. And I uh, changed them out for these other Colt grips. Got these on eBay. Refinished them. Turned out pretty good. This is an aluminum frame revolver also. Very smooth. Different uh, cylinder releases when you pull. Colts rotate to the right. Smiths rotate to the left. Anyway, let me give you a, little, a look at this one. That nickel finish is hard to keep clean. And this is my old tried and true trusty Smith & Wesson Model 12. Model 12-3, aluminum frame. Model 12 frame is a little narrower than your standard Model 10. I think the Model 12-4, they made it the same width as the regular Model 10. This is like a Model 10, except it's also an aluminum frame, nickel plated. Got the ramp front serrated front side. Case hardened hammer and trigger. Hammer nose on the hammer. Square butt. You can get these for $25. Very easy to come by. I'll put a link in the description. It's a nice gun, but a little bit heavier than the other ones. It's 
stage is great. Smith and Wesson model 12, aluminum frame. I'm going to weigh these so you can see the difference. The model 37 comes in at 14.14 ounces. That's with the Tyler T grip on there, so. The uh, Colt Cobra comes in at 16 point, is that 14 ounces? And the Smithy Model 12, 19.4 ounces. Quite a difference in their weights, even though they're all uh, aluminum frame. Model 12 is a nice gun. It's got some heft to it. Feels really good in the hand. Fills your hand very nicely. Feels solid. You know, Smith and Wesson. Hard to beat. Call it feels a little bit lighter. Model 37 is even lighter yet. Very easy to conceal though. Very smooth trigger. Put them side by side. See how much bigger the Model 10 is. Colt is a tad bigger than the J-Frame Smith. And a little bit smaller than the Smith Model 12. So look at the J-frame next to the K-frame. They're very similar. They're different. So there's a look at three iconic revolvers. The Smith & Wesson Model 12-3, the Colt Cobra and Nickel. I believe that is the uh, third issue. Does not have the shrouded ejector rod. And the Model 37, no dash, all aluminum frame revolvers. 
Thanks for watching. And take care of your guns. They'll take care of you.